Gro growing up in Yellowknife, Northwest Territories, you're also exposed to lots of wildlife. So I'd always be going like fishing and hunting with my dad. So that got me exposed to more than just household animals. Um, unfortunately, up there, there's not much farm at all farming areas. So I was never really exposed to any large animals or farm animals or horses or anything. But I got to be exposed to cats and dogs and also I had lots of birds, I even had a ferret, so it was, it was a great balance to have all these animals in my life. What I really loved was first week of class, you start class and you, one of my favorite classes is our animal management production and this might be because I, like I said, I don't really have that large animal experience when I when I applied and and so in this class you know first week they put you out in labs and you're handling horses and you're handling cows and you're taking blood from cows in in the chutes and pushing them through and everything and I thought it was awesome you look at where you where this is all going to go to and you have your concrete goal you're going to be a veterinarian you're going to be a, an animal doctor, right? You're going to be able to treat animals and save animals' lives. And when you think of your goal in the, in the long run, even though it's three years, four years away, it still makes you want to work hard and get there. And there's so many paths that you can take once you get your DVM. You can go into research. You can go into practice and start practicing right away. You can do your internship. You can specialize in whatever you want. You can go into academia. So there's lots of different opportunities out there with this one DVM. And that's what another thing that I love about, about this career is that it's going to give me lots of opportunities. But right now, I, my interest is small animal and wildlife. I really don't know if that's going to change over the next three years because I've heard that lots of people it has. And I'm totally open to that, and I'm open to learning about all the different species that are out there. I also thought I'd always just be studying and trying to, you know, do always schoolwork because you always have so much schoolwork, but you definitely have time for a social life. Like, I've been playing on, like, I was on basketball team, a soccer team, a volleyball team, an ultimate frisbee team, and, and I would go on the weekends too and have fun, and it's such a good stress relief. That's another thing people need to know is that you need to be able to relieve your stress somehow and have the support system and have friends to be able to talk to because sometimes that's all you just need is just to hang out. That's actually something that they also stress a lot is that we need to be able to have interpersonal skills. We're not just dealing with animals. So you need to know how to communicate with people and you need to have develop your friends and have the social life because if not then you might be a, a plus in the books but once you get out there into the real world when you have your DVM you won't know how to talk to another person and then you're out of luck. <laughs> I think the college is great and I love that there's the clinic, the, the veterinary teaching hospital that's attached to the college and you're as a student you're allowed to go in there whenever you want and look at cases and ask questions and then in right in our backyard we have all the large animals out there and I think it's just great that we have access to all of this right at our fingertips.